seven, eight months ago, or maybe nine months ago, when COVID-19 hit us, this also created a big, listen, I'm not talking of one, two people, I'm talking of tens of thousands of people. Interesting. You know, interesting. Uh, we, gave, we had, there, there was a topic on Facebook called COVID-19 connection to Dajjal. That was a topic of a khutbah that, alhamdulillah, mashallah, we reminded ourselves of eight or nine months ago. Well, some people went ballistic. Some people. Again, they misunderstood. Deep critics. They misunderstood the fact that I said that Dajjal is the one who brought COVID-19. Listen, I never said that. You got hundreds of people here. Did I ever say Dajjal brought COVID-19? No. And I want to put this on the record for our viewers worldwide. And most of these critics were all over different countries, all over the world, all over Timbuktu, etc. I never said that. Listen to what we said. And you could go back and listen to it. And alhamdulillah, there were a lot of intelligent people who listened, listened to the lecture, the khutbah, the reminder, and they were correcting those people. So I had no reason to correct. But I'm just reminding myself and you now again. What was said was, not that Dajjal brought COVID-19, but that people went mad and started going wild and started doing any and everything that somebody else said. And as Muslims, we are not supposed to do that. As Muslims, we are not supposed to follow blindly. We should follow the Quran and the Sunnah the Islamic laws and use our own analysis from the Quran and Sunnah before we just follow things wildly and blindly. That's what we said. And then I used that example that when Dajjal comes, that's where the connection came. When Dajjal comes in the ending of times, people will follow Dajjal blindly. And similarly, people were just listening to the television or the news, and anything somebody says, anybody says, they say, drink poison, you drink poison to prevent COVID-19. Huh? They say, drink Clorox, you drink Clorox to prevent COVID-19. That's what people were doing. Listen, people were walking like, like gins on the road. People were moving like robots. That was nine months ago. COVID-19 is still here. And you see, sometimes, uh, sometimes, and I always tell the students here, I said a lot of things happen, and I just wait for the appropriate time, the right time, to remind myself and remind others. People were going crazy and mad. And that was the point. Follow the Quran and Sunnah. Don't just stop coming masjid. Don't just stop praying. Don't just stop doing this. Don't just shut down masjids. No, we got to stop and think. Stop and do what? Think. This is nine months after, in the United States of America, that COVID-19 is even more rampant. Right? But masjids are not opening. Masjids are open. Think about it. Nine months ago, a couple hundred people had COVID-19. Masjid was shut down. Right? Millions of people got COVID-19. Hundreds of thousands have died. But the masjids are now open. A lot of crazy things that people were doing nine months ago, they're not doing it now. You understand? People were outside living in their parking lot. People were living in the garage. People not even coming home. But everything is almost back to normal. With some more intellectual precaution. With some more realistic precaution. 
Because we were just listening to anything and everything that someone says on the news. Everyone were going blindly following it. But Muslims are a different bunch of people. We are supposed to look at Quran and Sunnah and take that middle path and practice with caution. So for the benefit of those who misunderstood it, I never said that COVID-19 came from Dajjal. I said that how people were following Dajjal blindly... I mean, following people blindly when COVID-19 came without looking at the Quran and the Sunnah and Islam. Similarly, when Dajjal comes, people will follow him blindly. That was their assimilation and the connection. 